Normally, right here, I'd be welcoming you to Friday Night Pub Quiz, but today we have a viewer named Joe, whose birthday is today. So, for a special request, we are doing Average Joe Trivia for episode number 759. Happy birthday, Joe. All 21 questions today have an answer with the name Joe, Joseph, or Joey in it. Could be people, movie, music, anything like that. Good luck on today's trivia quiz. For example, question number one. The first film that was released in 2001 and its sequel, Beautiful Loser, starred David Spade as a lovable loser who was abandoned by his parents at the Grand Canyon when he was a child. What was the name of Spade's character? That beautiful loser's name was Joe Dirt. Question number two. A former Alabama quarterback, what man was selected first overall in the 1965 draft and would play for 13 seasons between the AFL and the NFL, primarily with the New York Jets, leading them in their 1969 Super Bowl III win? His name is Joe Namath. Question number three. The lyrics tell of a man who was on the run and planning to head to Mexico after shooting his unfaithful wife. What is the name of the iconic 1960s rock song that was most famously recorded by Jimi Hendrix? That song was called Hey Joe. Question number four. Nicknamed the Yankee Clipper, what American professional baseball player spent his entire 13-year career with the New York Yankees and was widely known for his marriage and lifelong devotion to Marilyn Monroe? The Yankee Clipper was the nickname of Joe DiMaggio. Question number five. As of 2021, Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan have starred in four films together. Their first was what 1990 comedy where Tom's character is a terminally ill man with only months to live who falls in love with Meg's character. That's a common theme in their movies that he falls in love with her. That movie was Joe versus the Volcano. Question number six. His best-selling song was Up Where We Belong, but his signature song was his 1974 cover of You Are So Beautiful. What is the name of the English singer that released 22 studio albums over a 43-year recording career? You Are So Beautiful was the signature song of Joe Cocker. Question number seven. He won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role as the psychopathic gangster character Tommy DeVito in Goodfellas. But what actor is more recognized for his role as Harry, the wet bandit from the Christmas movie Home Alone? His name is Joe Pesci. Question number eight. He rose to fame as a member of his pop rock band he started with his brothers Kevin and Nick. After briefly dating celebrities like Demi Lovato and Gigi Hadid, what singer began dating Sophie Turner from the Game of Thrones TV show and married her in 2019?
His name is Joe Jonas. Question number nine. A communist ideologically committed to the Leninist interpretation of Marxism. That's a mouthful. What was the name of the Georgian revolutionary and Soviet political leader who governed the Soviet Union from 1924 until his death in 1953? That communist was Joseph Stalin. Question number 10. Loosely based on the 1934 film Death Takes a Holiday, what 1998 romantic fantasy film starred Brad Pitt as Death, who comes to take Anthony Hopkins' character to the afterlife, but instead falls in love with his daughter? I've never seen that one. Sounds interesting. Meet Joe Black. Question number 11. Starting his career in comedy in 1988 in the Boston area, what is the name of the UFC color commentator, comedian, actor, and former TV presenter who now, as of 2020, hosts the most popular podcast in the world? His name is Joe Rogan. Question number 12. A former child star from movies like Angels in the Outfield and TV shows like A Third Rock from the Sun, what is the name of the actor that seamlessly made the transition to full-blown movie star for films like Inception, Premium Rush, and 500 Days of Summer? The answer is Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Question 13. He is best known as a member of the boy band In Sync, in which he sang baritone. But in 2007, what singer made headlines again when he came in second place in the ABC reality show Dancing with the Stars? His name was Joey Fatone. Question 14. Famously starring in the Hey Kid Catch Coca-Cola commercial and better known as Mean, what was the name of the pro football player for the Pittsburgh Steelers who is considered to be one of the greatest linemen to ever play in the NFL? They called him Mean, Mean Joe Green. Question 15. Based on the 1949 film of the same name, what was the title of the 1998 epic adventure film about a giant mountain gorilla brought to a wildlife preserve in Los Angeles by characters played by Bill Paxton and Charlize Theron? That movie was Mighty Joe Young. Question 16. His career really started when he played Flash Thompson in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. But what actor's breakout role came in the form of werewolf Alcide Hervo in five seasons of HBO's popular drama True Blood? That Joe is Joe Manganiello. Question 17. Used as the title track off of Bobby Gentry's debut album, what 1967 song tells a first-person narrative of a rural Mississippi's family's reaction 
to the news of a local boy jumping off of the Tallahatchie Bridge. The song talks about the day Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. It's called Ode to Billy Joe. Question 18. Competing from 1965 to 1981, what American professional boxer was known for his strength, durability, formidable punching power, and relentless pressure fighting style, who became the first boxer to beat Muhammad Ali? His name is Joe Frazier. Question number 19. Starting in and winning four Super Bowls, what American quarterback was the first player ever to be named Super Bowl MVP three times and had his number 16 jersey retired by the San Francisco 49ers when he finally did retire? That quarterback was Joe Montana. Question 20. Appearing in comics, cartoons, and movies since the 1960s, what is the name of the American media franchise that has its own line of action figures produced by the toy company Hasbro? That toy line is G.I. Joe, appearing in comics, cartoons, and movies since the 1960s, G.I. Joe. Thank you guys for watching. Joe, thank you for being a viewer. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. Sorry this video's out a little bit late. Hopefully you're out partying it up on a Friday and you hear this on the way home from a good time. So thank you again for watching. Happy birthday. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker for Joe's birthday. Inspiring both a partner dance and a more than one line dance that is often danced at country venues in the U.S., what song got renewed interest when the 1980 film Urban Cowboy featured it and the Moody Brothers 1985 version of it received a Grammy nomination? The song we're looking for is Cotton Eye Joe. Cotton Eye Joe, the more than one person line dance that is often danced at country venues in the United States. Cotton Eye Joe. Thank you guys for watching. Check back tomorrow. We're gonna do a Saturday night pub quiz instead of Saturday night at the movies. Tomorrow night's will be a pub quiz. That's the general knowledge 21 question trivia quiz. Very popular on Fridays, but when it's a viewer's birthday, you got to give the viewers what they want. Happy birthday, Joe.